Centipedes and millipedes look similar, but they act differently and affect people in different ways. Understanding these differences can help you identify them correctly. It can also help you know what to do if you find them in your home or garden. This way, you can keep your space free from them. Centipedes have a flattened, elongated body that allows them to move quickly and squeeze into tight spaces. Millipedes, on the other hand, have a more rounded, cylindrical body that is better suited for burrowing and slow movement. A simple way to tell centipedes and millipedes apart is by looking at their legs. Centipedes have one pair of legs on each body segment, and their legs are long and stick out from the sides of their body. Millipedes have two pairs of legs per segment, and their legs are shorter and positioned underneath their body. This gives them a rounder look. That means millipedes have more legs packed closely together, making them look like they have lots of legs. Centipedes are built for speed. Because centipedes have fewer legs, they can move faster and are quick hunters. Their long legs and flat bodies allow them to move quickly and easily through tight spaces. They are fast runners and use their speed to chase and catch prey. Millipedes, in contrast, move slowly and steadily. Their many short legs move in a wave-like pattern underneath their rounded bodies. This movement helps them push through soil and leaf litter. Unlike centipedes, they are not hunters and have no need to move quickly. Centipedes are carnivores, meaning they eat other animals. They actively search for live prey such as insects, spiders, small worms, and other tiny creatures. Using their venomous front claws, they catch and paralyze their prey before eating it. This allows them to capture food efficiently. Their sharp senses and fast movements make them effective predators in their environment. Millipedes, on the other hand, are mostly herbivores or detritivores. They feed on dead and decaying plant material like fallen leaves, wood, and other organic matter. Centipedes have long, flexible antennae that help them detect prey and navigate. Millipedes have shorter, less mobile antennae used mainly for sensing the environment. Centipedes can be a harmful if they enter homes. They have venomous claws and can bite if threatened or handled. Millipedes are generally harmless to humans and pets. They do not bite or sting. Millipedes usually just mind their own business and will not cause damage inside the home. While centipedes and millipedes may seem alike, their behavior, diet, and impact on humans are very different. Knowing how to tell them apart not only satisfies curiosity, but also helps you stay safe.